With alcohol sales on the decline across the world, Los Angeles is in the forefront of the low in no ABV cocktail trend. We are here at Pru and Proper in downtown Los Angeles to chat about the low in no ABV cocktail trend. And um, of course, we're going to have to sample some of the goods. Cheers. I'm here with Josh Copel of Pru and Proper, and we're chatting low in no ABV cocktails. So to get started, let's chat a little bit about what exactly a low ABV cocktail is. So let's start with ABV. It means alcohol by volume. That's what's going to determine exactly how much booze is in your drink. So low ABV is going to have a very low level relative to what normal liquors, liqueurs, or like beer and wine would have. And then no ABV is going to be a, uh, what's called a virgin cocktail. Right. No alcohol at all. Now let's chat a little bit about some no ABV drinks. So why do you think this trend is really popular here in LA as well? Because I think a lot of people in LA don't drink. Right. And so, but they still want to enjoy a, a, a scratch, well-prepared, well-balanced cocktail. Right. Right. And I've noticed a lot of uh, hospitality professionals come out and be very open about their sobriety, about their wellness, and their groups and organizations and even liquor brands are jumping in trying to get people healthier and trying to get people behind the bar to live a better, more sustainable, healthier life. Have you noticed that trend as well? I have. It's also it's a, re it's a reflection of the progression of the industry at large. Um, I, don't, I don't think anyone would ever mistake the hospitality industry for being uh, the most health focused or like the healthiest industry to be in. Um, but over time, that position has changed. Right. You know, the, the old joke used to be whenever you'd hear somebody talking about working a 40 hour work week, oh yeah, I remember my first part time job. Right, right. right. You know, and now, now it's changed, now it's evolved, and now it's more about work life balance. And it's less about excessive alcohol consumption and more about like responsibly treating your body. Right. Now let's chat a little bit about what no ABV or low ABV cocktails you guys have here on the list. So we work with a variety of brands. Um, what I would most like to talk about are our no ABV cocktails. We have an Arnold Palmer on the menu, which is like one of our signature cocktails, which happens to be no ABV that is to die for. We make our own proprietary iced tea. That is then infused with lavender and it's blended with our uh, house made lemonade. It's phenomenal. Sounds delicious. You will try it today, sir. Oh, I will. I will. And now let's talk a little bit about sustainability in cocktails. I would love to. So you guys are sustainable here at Prue and Proper. We are. Cassidy Wiggins, the beverage director, has created a, uh, a, a zero landfill cocktail program. So we were, we've been sustainable and green for quite some time. It's a scratch bar program. She makes all of her own uh, mixes, liqueurs. Everything is done in-house. Uh, we then moved to uh, zero waste and zero landfill. Um, it's about being socially responsible. And I see that you guys have some dehydrated citrus here. Mm -hmm. Can you chat a little bit about your sustainability here with your bar program? Yeah, so I try to run a zero landfill um, bar program here. So what that means is everything that comes in produce-wise um, has to be used from nose to tail pretty okay. much um, so from root to leaf so um, when stuff is going bad in the back uh, we try to get it out and get it utilized as fast as possible and sometimes that means dehydrating citrus um, sometimes that means dehydrating herbs and then um, crushing them up for garnishes um, but really it it takes a lot of talking to the kitchen, touching product every single day, and just not over ordering. So can you chat a little bit about how the interaction is with the, the chef and uh, Cassidy and everybody with the ingredients that maybe the chef might have in the kitchen that he's not using and then how that might come into play with her program? There's a ton of synergy between the two. So they meet weekly and then we collectively meet monthly to go over uh, the goals for the program for that month, that quarter, and whatever the balance of the year is. It's delicious. It's light. It says summer. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I like to think of uh, people sipping that on their front porch in their rocking chair back in the south. I love it. I love <laughs> it. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Pleasure having you. Cheers. Cheers.